BFIT Nation, welcome back to another special Motivational Monday here, another BFIT Live, another chance for you to progress, set your goals, and reach forward to the next week. Here we are with a new week, with our new goals, and today is the day that we start accomplishing our goals here with BFIT Live. Just like every live workout here, today's workout is programmed to be accomplished anywhere you are at. If you're at home, if you're in an outdoor setting, if you're in an indoor setting, or in a facility facility like ours, today is the day that we can accomplish a BFIT Live anywhere. Before we get started, though, welcome in. Get yourself comfortable. I hope you're wearing some good, comfortable workout clothes because we are going to get after it today, team. I hope you have some water next to you, all right? It's important to stay hydrated during our workouts. So before we get started, once again, I'd like to welcome my guest, my partner, my workout partner, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Roy, I am so awesome. And how cool is this? Like, I get to work out with you in person <laughs> and not through, like, a screen. Like I know, that. I know. So this is our first time working out together in person, in real life here. So it's so great to have our our moments here to work out together, to challenge ourselves in person, to keep ourselves accountable. If you have an accountability partner, let's grab that accountability partner. Make sure and share this Facebook Live with this BFIT Live with your accountability partner, your friends, your spouse, your coworkers, anyone to help keep you accountable and help reach your goals with you. All right. Well, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry and myself here today with you with our BFIT Live. So the timing for today, team, we are on for 40 seconds. We are off for 20 seconds, all right? We have four movements that we are gonna accomplish for today. We have four rounds with one minute rest in between each round. All right, team, once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four movements that we're gonna go through and four, uh, I'm sorry, and one minute rest in between each of those four rounds, okay? We will go through a demo, a demonstration of four movements before we tackle some dynamic stretching to get our minds and our bodies prepared and ready to work. And then we will jump into our workout. All right, team. Can you rest on bed? Yes. Yes. I'm ready. Are we ready? Yeah. We are ready. We are so excited. We're stoked <laughs> to have you all with us today. All right, team. Well, just like any BFIT Live workout, we are going to go through our demonstrations for today. So exercise one, we have a plyo lunge, okay? This movement is geared to keep our heart rate elevated. So just like any movement here, we are going to set ourselves up with that plyo lunge, okay? Our chest wants to stay up, our head wants to stay up. We wanna make sure that as we drop back into that reverse lunge, we are, that rear knee is traveling and tracking and hovering over that floor. That front knee is tracking over our toe. We want to extend up, so use our arms for momentum as we grab some air and softly bound into that plyometric lunge, okay? Plyometric lunge here, once again, 40 seconds on, and then we will be rewarded with 20 seconds of rest, okay? That's demonstration number one. Number two, we are on the floor. Sorry, Barry, would you like to go into a T push-up for us here? And I will explain the demo as well, okay? So Sergeant Barry is in that high plank position. Her hands are gonna be underneath her shoulders, right? Nice, tall, straight line, relatively straight from that neck all the way down to the heels, okay? From there, we are down into a push-up. We load ourselves up with that push-up, extending all the way up. Once we get back into that high plank position, we take one of our arms and we are gonna rotate it up to the ceiling. Our gaze follows our fingertips here, right? Then we reload back into our high plank position, down into a push-up, nice and controlled. Nice, great form here, just like Sergeant Barry is doing. And then we rotate up with that rotational swing. Again, gaze meets fingertips up towards your ceiling, okay? That is good. If we need to regress here, we're going to drop down to our knees. Same great form here. Load up with that push-up. Nice controlled movement here. And then into that rotation, just like Sergeant Barry is doing right now. All right? That's going to be demonstration number two. Number three, if we have any resistance here, we're going to grab dumbbells. We're going to grab anything with a handle. Get creative here if you need, okay? So we have a dumbbell squat to press. Let me just grab some gear here. All right? We are into that dumbbell squat and then a shoulder press, overhead shoulder press. So we are gonna set ourselves up for success here. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees. Always try to keep a soft bend at those knees, right? Never 
lock out your knees, all right? Absorb that weight, take some pressure off your knees, your joints here, into that <clears throat> dumbbell squat. We are gonna rack our dumbbells here, or weight if it is a um, any type of resistance here, all right? Palms may be facing you, palms may be facing each other, into that low squat. From there, our chest is staying up, our head is staying up in that neutral position. From there, we load up, pushing up, driving up through our heels, utilizing our quads. From here, one fluid motion into that overhead press, okay? Then we control our weight as we re-rack into that front rack position, and then down into that squat to overhead press. So once you get moving, 40 seconds of work with the squat and overhead press. All right, team, that's exercise number three, okay? Movement number four, 10 ab twists and 10 shoulder taps. Dive and bury. We are calling here. All right, we are down on deck here, down on the ground into 10 ab twists, okay? So we have that nice reclined position, just like Sergeant Barry is doing, okay? We're going to rotate our torso, keeping our chest rotating with our arms here out of those 10 ab twists. We are going to quickly rotate over into a high plank position, just like exercise number two, and we are going to go opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Trying, we want to make sure that our core is nice and tight, hips are square to the floor, back nice and flat, and our feet, think about a foot placement here, shoulder width apart, and if we need more stability, make sure and widen that foot base to give you a little bit more stability as that opposite hand reaches that opposite shoulder. Okay, if we need to regress here, let's hold our high plank for our 40 seconds of work. And if we need to regress even further, let's scale down to our knees and hold this plank. Okay, hold the modification here and keep going with our shoulder taps. Quick little note here, make sure that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders for the most support. We want that straight line, okay? Try not to get those hands over your head, but rather underneath your shoulders, okay? That's gonna give us the most support. And that's gonna be the four movements, team. Once again, exercise number one, plyo lunge. Movement number two, T push up. Movement number three, squat to overhead press. And movement number four is going to be those 10 ab twists with 10 shoulder taps. Sounds good? Sounds like we are ready to go? Sergeant Barry. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I think I get extra credit since I've already used you know? the concept. <laughs> Sergeant Barry already is warmed up for the movements, all right? We are both warmed up, but team, we are all not warmed up. So we're going to work with some dynamic stretching, okay? We're looking at targeting multiple muscle groups at a time to get our heart rate just a little bit elevated and ready to work, as well as get our bodies and minds prepared and ready to work. So team, let's start off with some dynamic stretching that can echo each of these movements to get us ready for the specific movements that we're gonna target for today. So dynamic quad stretch team, let's go ahead and take one leg back towards our glutes, opposite hand up towards the ceiling. You wanna make sure that your hips push up forward. You should feel that stretch in your quad, in your hip flexors, opposite hand is going to extend up Feel that range of motion in your mid to upper back and that shoulder that is coming up. We're going to do each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds here. Go at your own pace, at your own tempo, right? Do not need to follow us, but if you need to stay in a movement for a little bit longer, feel free and do so, okay? Now's a great time to scan your body to see how we are feeling today. Each day is different, so you may be feeling a little bit different today versus yesterday. All right, team. Dynamic quad stretch. One more here. A little extra squeeze, pushing those hips forward. Hand gets extended just a little taller. All right, team. Good. Let's go into a dynamic reverse lunge with an overhead reach. All right. Come to your front of your workout space here. We're going to take one leg extended back and down into that reverse lunge. Hands come together, overhead, and then reaching. Whichever leg is forward, you're going to reach to that leg's direction. Back up to standing position, nice and tall. Opposite leg, alternate, reverse lunge, overhead reach. Good. Should feel some blood flow coming towards, coming down towards your lower body. Hands up and rotation. Just a slight, slight bend here. Feeling now that those lats get warmed up, shoulders get warmed up. Good. Remember to focus on your breathing. Last one here. 
Good, good, good. All right, team, lateral lunges here, fixed feet, okay? We're gonna take a nice wide stance here, wider than shoulder width apart. Feet are gonna be fixed forward, okay? We're just going to softly absorb our weight and shift our weight from the left and from the right, left and to the right, all right? Keeping that chest up, keeping that head, looking straight ahead. Good, nice soft absorption here. Nothing too aggressive because we have some plyo lunges coming up that will really test our movement here. Testing our range of motion, but you should feel that stretch in the inside of your thigh, your inner thigh here. Chest is up once again. Gaze is looking straight ahead. Last three seconds. Two, one. All right, team, let's come to the back of our workout space. Since we do have some high planks that we're gonna go through, we're gonna go into some inchworms here. Last and final movement here to warm ourselves up. Inchworm here, we are going to feet, uh, have our feet shoulder width apart here. We are going to slowly bend down, touch hinging at those hips, touching our toes, extending out into a high plank position, just like we will be doing. All right, hold this for one second, one pause, and then you're going to extend up right? Touching our toes, coming back up to standing position, feeling that extension in our spine, right? All the way back up, right back down, touching those toes, feeling that stretch in our hamstrings again, pausing at the bottom with that high plank position, and then returning back. Good. Touching our toes, retracting back up, feeling that spine align. Back down here, high plank position, Good, last one here. Good, pausing, focusing on our breathing here. Coming back up to standing position. All right, team, how are we doing? How are we feeling? Grab that towel, grab some water, quick break here, and then let's jump into our workout. All right, team. Once again, team, if you are just joining us, welcome to BeFit Live. All right, team. Once again, our timing for today, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Four rounds and one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Drop us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're watching from, all right? Where are you joining from? Where are you tackling this specific workout from, all right, team? Let us know. Drop us a note in the comments below, okay? Any of these movements, are they challenging for you? Let us know, okay? We will help us out with modifications as we go through this workout, team. All right? Starting in, let me start my timer, team. <laughs> Sergeant Barry. Um... Let's start our timer here and we will get ready to go team. All right, team. Here we go, Sergeant Barry. We are up in 40 seconds of work. Once again, 10 seconds here. Let's shake it off. Let's towel off. We are up in five seconds. We have plyo lunges for 40 seconds of work, team. And three, two, one. Plyo lunges for 40 seconds of work. Good, make sure to absorb that weight. Use your arms for momentum. That chest is up nice and proud, right? Absorb that weight. Sergeant Barry, if we need to scale back, let's go ahead and reverse lunge. Stand up nice and tall. Good, good, nice and tall, just like that. 15 seconds of work here. Good, out in eight, seven. Last five, three, two, one, stand up nice and tall, nice and proud. 20 seconds of rest here, team. We've earned it. Whew. Let's get that breath under control. 13 seconds of rest here. Sergeant Barry, that got my heart rate up and elevated. I hope we're ready to work. T push ups, team. We are on deck. Five seconds here. T push ups coming up. High plank position. 40 seconds of work. Let's go. Into that T push up. Right? Nice rotation here. Your gaze is going to follow your fingertips. Exhaling as you come up into high plank. Good. Stay with us, team. Nice gaze at our fingertips once again. Find that comfort level for you. 13 seconds left, team. Good. Go at your own pace. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, Last rep and time. Good job, team. We are standing up nice and tall for a squat to press here. If we want to scale up with those dumbbells, let's grab them. If you do not have any dumbbells, let's make nice, strong fists here. 
Five seconds here. I'm going to grab some weight here. Sergeant Barry, 40 seconds here. Let's go. Squat, overhead press, okay? To our comfort level, once again. Let's make sure to keep that chest up. Good. 20 seconds here. Last 15 here. Good. As you can see, Sergeant Berry has great form here coming down into her low squat. Knees are tracking over her toes. Her chest is up nice and proud. Last five seconds here. She is controlling and owning her movement. Last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. 20 seconds of rest. Great job. Great job. Okay. We are down on deck here for 10 ab twists and two shoulder taps. Coming up, put these back here. We are up in five, team, for those 10 ab twists and two shoulder taps. Coming up, here we go. 40 seconds of work. Count those rotations here. I usually <laughs> forget mine. I'm up at 10. I'm going to take your cue here. Out in 27 here. Good. Nice shoulder taps here. Remember that foot placement? Wider the foot base, the more stability you'll have. Closer together, the less, the more challenging it'll be. 15 seconds here. Focus on our breathing. Out in 12, coming back in. 10 ab cycles and 10 shoulder taps. Out in five seconds. Finish it out, team. If our heels need to stay on the floor, that's fine. Two, one, and time. First round is in the books. <laughs> Sergeant Barry, I'm warm. How are you? I'm warm. <laughs> first round. So. First round. First round, we earn it. We like to say first round, we earn it and we learn it. Second round, we own it. Third round, we are crushing it by them, team. We are scaling up as needed. But just as a reminder, if you're just welcoming, if you are just joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Welcome to our BFIT Live program. You have myself, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes, and I see your message on Barry. <laughs> Leave us a note in the comments, all right? Give us some likes, some loves, some shares. Make sure and share with your team, all right? We are up in 17 seconds, all right? Catch that breath. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Speaking of hydration, I'm going to grab some myself. Good work, team. We are up in eight seconds. Five seconds here. Plyo lunges. Plyo lunges on deck in two, one. Here we go, team. Round two. Plyo lunges here. Good job learning it the first round. This round, we are going to own it. 30 seconds here. Remember to focus on your breathing. Good. Going at your own pace. Challenging yourself, however this may be. Okay? If you're lowering that rear knee a little bit lower this round, great. If you're getting a little bit more air, awesome. Last eight seconds. Good. Out of five. Remember to smile, team. Two, one, and we are standing up nice and proud, collecting our breath, owning our breath here. 15 seconds of rest. All right, team, we have those T push ups coming up. T push ups coming up in eight seconds. Quick eight seconds. We are up in five, three, two, one. Let's go, team. Good. Push up, nice rotation. Remember, if we need to regress, if we need to scale back, let's drop to our knees here. There we are. Sergeant Barry is showing us a great modification here for exercise movement number two, T push up. All right, regress to our knees here. Good, keeping that back flat, that head is neutral. Last 10 seconds. Neutral, what does neutral mean? In alignment with our spine. So we do not want to look up when we're in our push-up. Last two seconds, one, and time. Sergeant Barry with that bonus work. Whew. 15 seconds here. All right, team. We are working today. 10 seconds of rest here. Catch our breath. Catch that hydration. Dumbbell squat to overhead press coming up in three seconds, team. Two, one. All right, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's challenge ourselves here. I like to say, if it doesn't challenge us, it doesn't change us. 
All right, team, remember to keep that chest up nice and proud. We are going at our own pace here, our comfortable pace. So we are chasing the clock. Halfway there, 15 seconds and out. Good. Good. Last seven here. Remember to drive up through your heels, through those quads. Out in three, two, one. Last rep and time. 18 seconds of rest here. 12 seconds here, team. Good job. Stay with us. On deck here, 10 ab twists and 10 shoulder taps. Three seconds, team. Let's get ready. Let's get down. Two, one. And we are twisting here. If we want to keep our heels on the floor here for those ab twists, let's do it, team. <laughs> there we go. I'm taking my cue. Sorry, Barry's counting. <laughs> oh, shoulder taps. Shoulder taps. That was a bonus push up. There we go. Nice and controlled, team. Out in 15. Keeping those hips square to the floor. That back is flat. Out in 10 seconds. Good. Let's get one more rotation in for those ab twists. Out in three, two, one, and time. Team, round two. Ooh, halfway. <laughs> halfway there, team. Halfway there. Grab that towel, grab that water, stay hydrated, stay hydrated. Let us know what your favorite movement is for today. I will say one of my favorites is the uh, T push-up, believe it or not. T push-up, I get a lot of, uh, not only we get the press, we get that core engagement with that high plank position, but we also get a spinal rotation as we rotate up towards the ceiling here. So it's really forcing our bodies to find that balance find that stability, working on core engagement once again. So we get a lot of bang for our buck with that push-up, engaging our chest, our shoulders, our triceps, as well as that spinal rotation, okay? Last 10 seconds here, and then we are up, plyo lunges for round number three. Woo! All right, team, here we go, two, one, 40 seconds on the clock, team. Let's get it. Let's own round three here. Remember to go at your own pace. Challenge yourself. Good. Remember to use your arms here if you would like. 25 seconds here, absorb our weight. Good. Great work, Sergeant Barry. My quads are on fire. Quads are on fire, absolutely. Driving up through those quads. Out in 10 seconds. Use your arms here, don't forget your arms. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, team. <laughs> I know. Air five here, air five. 13 seconds of rest here. Down with my favorite. We are gonna own it here. 10 T push-ups. T push-ups here. Five seconds here on deck. Once again, up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Push up here. Nice strong push-up out of that push-up. Nice stability work, balance, rotation, gaze, follows your fingertips here. <sighs> Try to keep those hips square to the floor. <sighs> Good job. Good job. There we are. Push the ground here. Push the ground. <laughs> 15 seconds and out, team. Hold it. Hold it with us. Good. Good, good, good. Nice work here. Last seven seconds. We have two more reps in us. Out in three, two, one, time. Good job, way to hold that high plank. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds of rest here. We are back up top. Dumbbells to press squat. All right, find that resistance. If you can scale up this round, let's do it, team. We are up in three, two, one. 40 seconds on the clock, team. Working on some strength here. Control your movement as you go down into that low squat. Nice deep breath in. Exhale on the way up as you drive through your heels, through your quads, engage your glutes at standing, and then work on that overhead press. Good. Great control from Sergeant Barry here. 15 and out. Good, remember to breathe. Last eight seconds. 
drive up, overhead press. We go five, last three seconds here, a little more rep here, two, one, time. Good job, good job. Almost done here with round number three. On deck here, we are on the floor for those 10 ab cycles and 10 shoulder taps. Coming up, seven seconds, get ourselves up, prepared, ready to work. 10 ab cycles coming up in two, one, 40 seconds on the clock. Raise those heels, lower those heels to the floor. 10 ab cycles, recline back, ab twist. Out of those twists, good. Nice strong base with our feet, with our foot placement. Good, remember, those hands are underneath our shoulders for the most support. 20 seconds here. We are breaking a sweat. Nice quick rotation back into seated position for our 10 ab twists. Recline back, keeping that core nice and tight. There you go, Sergeant Barry. Last five seconds. Add in three, two, one, and time. Deep in nation, good work, good work. How are we doing? How are we doing? Round number three, how did that, how did that feel for us? <laughs> Sergeant Barry, how'd that feel for you? It felt good. It felt I'm, good. I'm getting a workout. <laughs> Absolutely, this is a great, a great way to start your week off here, 40 seconds as we rest, we catch our breath, we hydrate here. It's a great way to start your week here, setting ourselves up, just taking a little bit of time for ourselves to start our week off here, whether it's the morning or an afternoon or an evening, wherever you are watching from. All right, it's a great way to start our week, start our day, or close out our day, just focusing and giving a little bit of time back to ourselves, okay? 13 seconds here, every day's a workout here. Whatever we do in here, can be applied to the outside. Okay, five seconds here. We'll loop back to that one. Last plyo lunge movement here. Two, one. All right, team, 40 seconds of work here. Good. Well, we have the synchronized plyo lunges today. <laughs> 28, don't let me distract you. 25, good. I hope you shared this workout with your friends here. Challenge yourselves. How many reps did you get in 40 seconds? Good. Keep working here. Good job. Last eight seconds. Sergeant Barry has the right idea here. Good modification here. Out in two, one, and time. You will not see that again, team. 20 seconds of rest. A quick 20 seconds here. T push ups. Last and final T push up. For today's workout, you won't see these again today from us. You might see them later, up to you. Out in three here, we're on in two. One, T push up here with that rotation. 40 seconds on the clock. Good, nice strong push up. Remember to tuck in your elbows at about a 45 degree angle, close to our torso. Power up here, elbows, I'm sorry, hands are underneath our shoulders. Good, 20 seconds here, our gaze is following our fingertips. Stopping just over our head here. Good, 12 seconds here. Power through, out in eight. Stay with us team. Last five seconds, keep that core tight. Three, two, la -ha -ha, time. <laughs> 20 seconds here team. Once again, we are standing up nice and tall, dumbbell squat to press for the last time today. Finish it out, team. Stay with us. We are up in five seconds. Catch our breaths here, catch our breaths. Two, one, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's work, team. Nice, strong movement here. We need to take ourselves a little bit slower. Let's do it. We wanna make sure that we focus on form, focus on quality of reps here. Good, 18 seconds and we are done with this movement. I know it's challenging. It can be challenging sometimes. If it doesn't challenge us, it doesn't change us team. Stay with it, last five. Out in three, two, driving up for that last rep and time. With a smile, with a <laughs> smile because we won't see that one again. This is the last one. <laughs> ah. Sergeant Barry, we are almost coming up on a year of working out together at home in 
our BFIT program. Seven seconds here. Last set, team. Last set is our what? Best set. Last set is our best set, team. 45. 40 seconds on the clock, team. Ab twist. Ten of them to be exact. Let's go. Remember that breathing here. Out of those ten, rotate over, high plank position. Opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Keeping that flat back. Those hips are square to the floor. Ten of these to be exact. Last round, team. Last round. Best round if we can speed it up. Let's go. 13 here. Keep driving. Out in eight. High and lows count. We're going. Out in five. Team. 40 seconds. That's it. 40 seconds, team. We are done. I hope you're feeling well. How are we feeling, BFIT Nation? How are we doing? Drop us a note in the comments below. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Catch our breath here. Catch our breath. Let's get our breathing under control here, under control. Just to recap for us today, team, we did four movements for today. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Four rounds with one minute rest in between each round. Like I was saying for today, each one of these movements can be applied outside of your gym or studio setting. So every day is a workout. Each one of these movements, you may not notice it, outside of your workout space, but they are all functional movements that we can apply to our each and every day lifestyle, our each movements, whether it's a squat, if you're getting up from our table, from a chair, right? From the couch, if we're into a lunge, if we need to bend over to pick something up, all right? We're using the same muscle groups that we are applying outside of a gym facility, right? Right, focusing on our breathing with that low, time here that low 20 second rest period keeps our heart rate elevated just a little bit more okay forcing us to really utilize our lung capacity to get our heart rate pumping get that blood flowing through our bodies to our muscle groups that we are working you want to think about those muscle groups that we are working throughout our resistance training all right form over function all right team sergeant barry it's our time here how did uh how did you feel how do you feel how was this workout for you today and how was sharing a workout space together? How was that? I, I think it was great because I could see and I could check myself for form. And I think I pushed myself harder too because like, oh man, Rory can see me. I will make sure <laughs> I'm not slacking. Um, and I do want to echo too that you said, I do feel stronger in every day, but um, PT test time is around the corner now for me. So I started practicing my PT testing. And quite honestly, I can tell a huge difference um, just in, in practicing for that. So it's been awesome. Um, I loved working out in the gym with you today. Absolutely. It's great. I feel good. Fantastic. Ready for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Ready for lunch. Speaking of lunch, it is lunch for some of us soon. So make sure to hydrate and recover just as hard as we worked out today. But just like Sergeant Barry said, PT test is coming around. Testing time is coming around. Whatever programs that we are uh, trying to tackle, whatever our goals are that we set. Remember at the beginning of the year, we set our goals. All right. Every month, every six months out, quarterly, yearly those annual goals, okay? Make sure to keep checking those goals. If it is a PT test coming up soon, make sure to dial those in and we're right there with you every step and every every rep of the way, all right? So we've been here for almost a year now, almost a year of moving and activating, really challenging our bodies here. And so for you uh, showing strength and progression throughout your your time here and, and, and for your testing coming up, a lot of these movements can be applied to uh, the test movements that you are adapting to and are you're going to challenge and face during your PT test or during your ACFT coming up. Okay, so stay with us for each one of these BFIT lives. We're here every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. All right, Sergeant Barry and myself, all right, looking at our BFIT program, we are here to challenge you, but also safely encourage you, motivate you, and to practice our best health and wellness uh, practices. So stay with us. All right. BFIT Live is here once again, weekly, every Monday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Any last words, uh, Sergeant Barry? Great work, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Absolutely. <next> <laughs> Absolutely. BFIT Nation from myself, Roy Montes, from Senior Master Sergeant Sonny Barry. <laughs> we applaud you. Way to finish with us. Way to stick with us. Way to challenge yourselves. All right, team. Signing off here. All right. Great work. <laughs>